I think when I was a kid, it was the movie Mad Max was the first post-apocalyptic or fallout of society movie that I can think of or that I can remember. And, and there are several things. I must have been seven or eight years old when I saw that movie. I'm 42 now. And there are definitely still things that I can remember from that movie that were unsettling to me because that part when he eats dog food, I remember that was unsettling to me because I've never been in a position in my life where I had to eat dog food and I just thought that was so gross. And in the last probably six, seven, eight, I don't know how many years it's been on TV, I've been hearing co-workers and people that I know talk about um, shows like The Walking Dead and you know, I, I could kill people and I would be one of these survivors and I could kill zombies and there are all these different movies that are not really apocalyptic, but post fallout of society. Society has collapsed and there are people living in the, the ruins and the movie is based on how they live. And there, there's lots of varieties. And over the years, I've heard people talk about, you know, where they think they would fit into that because there have just been so many movies and there have been so many... Uh, stories told like that and one of the things that I think I've learned in the last two months is that 99% of the people that I've listened to talk about in this talk about this stuff in my life are completely full of crap because I, I really don't have a ton of access to the outside world I don't have news I don't have TV or cable or any form of news media in my home I haven't had a lot of access to people in the last few weeks. So the only real outside world information that I'm hearing is social media. And on social media, boy oh boy is about 90% of the information negative. And a large part of the information that I'm, I'm hearing and seeing people post about is mental health and mental stability. And oh, I just don't know if I can make it another day. It's bizarre to me to get my mind around why everybody is so anxious to run back to the jobs that you all pretend to love, to go spend time with the bosses and coworkers that you all bitch about. What is so bad about spending time in the, the domicile that you spend so much time working to pay for and decorate and make fancy for your friends to see and spending time with your family that you have pictures up in your office and you brag to everyone that are so wonderful. Funny enough, I don't have kids, and so many people have told me, oh, it's not too late for you to have kids. There's such a blessing. Wonder how many of those people that have said that to me have thought about drowning theirs in the last couple of weeks. But, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat puzzled by just how fragile people appear to be simply because we're being kind of minorly inconvenienced. You know, it's not as if the Nazis have invaded our country, Poland, and we're now with our family huddled under the floorboards of a farmhouse, living off table scraps, hoping that the Germans don't find us and shoot us in the head. That happened a lot, a lot, a lot. Knowing is, no one is really starving to death. No one is having to go without Wi-Fi. Oh, could you imagine the horror? Could you imagine if we couldn't post on social media our opinion of the WHO and our opinion of the job that we think Trump is doing? Oh my God, the horror. What the hell is wrong with you people? How hard is it to sit in your home and find a hobby? How hard is it to sit down and find some way to mentally stimulate yourself. I've just been walking around crying. Like so many people, so many people, like they're about to lose it. Well, coach, you don't understand mental, I, I don't understand what? I spent a lot of my adult life by myself. Because I travel, 
spent a lot of time alone in hotel rooms, alone in my camper, alone on the road. And one of the things that I've learned, you only have you really. Depending on other people or other circumstances to give you mental stability, to give you mental health, mm -mm, that's never gonna work. And I think a lot of you right now maybe need to wake up and realize that some of the things that you have clung to, your favorite gym routine, oh, I just, I just gotta have my morning latte, your favorite coffee shop, your favorite routine, being able to drive your favorite car, whatever it is, those things are all finite. They're all fleeting things. Maybe, just maybe, this is a good opportunity to reflect on the fragility. Is that a word? How fragile our society really is when just a few basic things are taken away. I'm not going to argue constitutional right or what's been taken. It sucks all the way around. I'll agree. This is good therapy. I recommend this one. But just maybe, just maybe, this is an opportunity to appreciate that this small blip that's happened in our lives is an opportunity for personal growth. Because just what if in 18 or 20 months from now, this same thing happens, but it's a, a thousand times worse. Nothing stopping it from happening again, or again, or again. A lot of communist countries out there that hate America. A lot of people out there that would like to do harm to millions of people. The proof is all of us being quarantined in our homes right now. So just maybe this is an opportunity to sit down and learn to put together an IFAK, Individual First Aid Kit. An AFAK, an advanced first aid kit. Maybe this is an opportunity. Spend some time dry firing. Learn to handle that gun you just went out and bought. Learn to handle the gun that you think is protecting your home and your family. Maybe do some push-ups. Maybe read a book. I would suggest uh, spending some time in Proverbs. A lot of good vibes in there. Book of 1 John is one of my favorites. Romans is an easy read. And if you really want to fill your mind with some interesting things, sit down and read the book of Acts. I'm not saying the Bible is everybody's go-to, but it's really, really hard to close your Bible and feel unhappy about what you've just read. I'm just saying. You know, people, we're going to get through this. And in just a little matter of time... All of what has happened and transpired in the last couple months is just going to be a memory. It's not going to matter. It'll be gone. Stop focusing on the negative. Stop whining about how inconvenienced you are and, and just completely scope locking yourself on the fact that your life is, is, is being a little bit disrailed or inconvenienced. It's not that bad. It isn't. Stop. Stop doing it to yourself. Stop doing it to your family. And stop posting it on social media. Oh my God. Have a good night.